snug as bugs in your beds. Aww. Mom, will you read us a bedtime story? Yeah, a story. Please tell us a story, Mom. Story, story, yeah. story. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, Mom. <laughs> well, maybe just one. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Thanks, Mom. Now, what kind of a story would you like to hear? Tell us one about kings with big pointy crowns. No, about dragons and scaly slither monsters. Pirates, tell us about pirates. Arr! I'm not sure pirates are such a good bedtime story. I think Wiggles got a good point there. I know. How about a story about flowers? Flowers? Ew. I want to hear the story of the Marin Rose and the Knights of the Round Toadstool. Yeah, knights and toadstools are almost as fun as dragons. Hmm, I like it so far. Then all of you curl up and get cozy. Once, in the far ago and long away, there was a king. <sighs> Woe is me. Being king is so boring. Bring me my royal stinkster. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops. At your service, Shia. How best can I amuse you? I don't know. Not even my royal garden excites me anymore. Really, Shia? You, you don't enjoy the tulips or the trilliums? Tedious, weedious. What about the bluebells and buttercups? Bothersome blooms. And the daffodils, uh, the daisies, the dandelions? Dreary, dismal, dull as dust. Hmm. Maybe you need to add something new to your garden, sire. I have heard tales of a rare flower, the last one of its kind, located somewhere in the meadow beyond the mists. Hmm, the last of its kind? Uh-huh. It's said to be the most beautiful and sweetly scented flower in all the world. It's called the Marin Rose. The Marin Rose? Fetch me this flower, for a rose by any other name doth stink. Um... Sire, I'm not really a royal flower fetching kind of bug. I'm more of a royal funny bone tickler. <laughs> See? Hence the hat. Silence, fool. Call out my knights of the round toadstool. Greetings, your mighty majesty. You summoned the knights of the round toadstool? Yes. I'm sending you on a quest. A great journey to find a treasure. Huzzah! And I can assure you that it'll be full of pitfalls and perils. Pitfalls and perils? Huzzah! Sir Bounce, pitfalls and perils are dangerous things. They are? <laughs> can I take back my huzzah? Worry not, Sir Bounce. We are brave knights of the Round Toadstool, and we're ready, sire. Then I command you to venture forth to the meadow beyond the mists and bring me back the one, one and, and only Marin Rose. Rose. <sighs> <sighs> then what, Mom? <laughs> and so the knight set forth on their long and perilous journey, past the Colby Caves and through the brambles of Brenna until they came to Carly's Bad Canyon. The walls look too steep and crumbly, even for me to climb. It's way too big for me to bounce across. Okay, let's go home. Bounce? We winged knights can fly over it, but I think you two bugs are a tad heavy to carry. There must be some way we can all get to the other side. <gasps> it's a slither monster. I can fly! <laughs> Hey, where's Shimmer? Hey there, you silly old slither monster. Silly? What is she doing? She's gone buggy. Come on, Miss Hisselot. Bet you can't fight me. Stand still and say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm just a light snack. <gasps> Thank you, Mrs. Slither Monster. Oh, welcome. Now, back you go. Kitty, kitty, coo. That was awesome. Huzzah, Dame Shimmer. What they said. 
And so they traveled on, searching day and night for the meadow beyond the mist and their prize, the Marin Rose. Hmm, even the frogs are quiet. Scary quiet. Finally, after many more adventures, the brave knights reached the meadow beyond the mist, where they discovered <gasps> the Marin Rose. Oh. Pretty, pretty rose. <sighs> it's the most beautiful flower I have ever seen. Yeah. Let's pick it and get out of here. Not now. Not after seeing it. Yeah, if we cut it down, it'll get all brown and wilty. Wilty? Yeah, wilty. But we can't disobey the king. So what are we going to do? We have to bring him a flower. And so we will. Shia! Yo, Shia! They're back! The knights of the round toadstool are home from the quest. Royal Majesty, my comrades and I have returned from a great adventure. Yes, yes, but where is the... We bested the Slither Monster of Carly's Bad Canyon. Fine, very brave, but... We vanquished the Pirates of Puddle Scum Pond. <laughs> Most heroic, but what I really want to see is my man... Then we continued our quest to the meadow beyond the mist. Enough! A rose, a rose, my kingdom for a rose. Of course, sire. Here it is. The most beautiful flower in all the world. <gasps> what is this? What happened to the Marin Rose? You did order us to cut it down, Your Highness. What did you expect, sire? Soons. By sending you to pick the flower, I destroyed it. Oh, what a rogue and peasant spider am I. I have robbed the world of the last Marin Rose. <laughs> Am I miss a joke or something? Be of good cheer, Your Majesty. The Marin Rose is not dead. Not dead? But this flower... It's just a wilted flower we found on the way home. We knew if we picked the rose, it would die. So we left the Marin Rose exactly where we found it. Happy and alive. If you want to see it, Your Majesty, and smell its sweet perfume, we can lead you right to it. Lead on, Dame Shimmer. I never saw true beauty till this day. I hereby decree that the Marin Rose shall be allowed to grow and bloom for all to enjoy. No one shall pick, pluck, pull, or prune this most beautiful of all flowers ever again. Huzzah! And so the king, the knights of the round toadstool, all the bugs of the kingdom, and the Marin Rose lived happily ever after. <sighs> oh. the knights could have crossed Carly's Bad Canyon. Bugs away! Squirt, are you okay? Hey, guys! It's like the one in the storybook. The Marin Rose. Yeah. Let's pick it and bring it home for Mom. Good idea. What? That's what the knights in the storybook did, right? No. Don't you remember, Dragon? If you pick the flower, it will die. Shimmer's right! Shimmer's right! Somebody better tell him that. Hmm. What are you doing, Spideris? I saw this flower from my web high in the trees. I'm going to pluck it and bring it home as a present to my wife. 
But if you do that, the rose will die. Oh, that'll take days. Until it does, I'll have a sweet-smelling home and a happy Spindella. But that's not how it worked in the story. Hmm. I have an idea for an even better present. Really? Oh, it's the most beautiful flower I've ever seen. Thank you for showing it to me, Spideris. Seeing it and enjoying its heavenly fragrance is a wonderful present. Oh, <laughs> no, that's not the present. This had better work, Beetle. It will. It's a bag? A bag of seeds. From the rose, so we can grow them all over Sunny Patch. Oh, that is such a thoughtful idea. Uh, I am? <laughs> I mean, it is? Good plan, sis. How'd you think of it? Oh, I just asked myself one question. What would a knight of the round toad still do? Yeah! Ah! Ah!